good morning friends now we are discussing uh, in this session the objectives of mrp inputs and outputs of mrp in module number 5 that is covering uh, material requirement planning uh, then uh, purchasing and supply chain management so now we are seeing uh, what is mrp so it is a system for calculating uh, how many raw materials tools and other spare parts needed to manufacture a product when they are required and where they are required so this mrp planning will consist of three primary steps so considering uh, the materials and uh, components readily available in hand identifying uh, how many additional uh, materials are uh, needed and uh, a uh, procurement of uh, these uh, materials and uh, converting them into the finished product making them uh, involved in the production process so mrp is a powerful tool so when uh, it is properly applied so it uh, helps the managers so that uh, they are uh, achieving a very effective uh, control on manufacturing process so uh, difference between independent and uh, de uh, dependent demand item so independent uh, demand item so it is uh, an item uh, uh, whose demand is based on the demand from the customers for that particular item so it is the demand for a finished product such as uh, a computer a bicycle or the pizza whereas dependent demand items the raw materials are sub assemblies uh, which are consumed in manufacturing uh, process so for example if you take microchip in the computer so computer is an independent uh, demand item so uh, the demand for the computer depends on the demand from the customer whereas microchip uh, uh, is the dependent item so based on the demand for the computer so the demand for the microchips will be decided similarly the wheels on the bicycle or the cheese what we are using in uh, uh, preparing the pizza so these are the dependent demand items objectives of uh, mrp so uh, this uh, material requirement planning will determine uh, uh, the quantity and timing of finished uh, goods demanded so that is what quantity of materials are required and uh, in what time they should be uh, supplied so it determines the time phase requirement of demand maybe with respect to the materials components or sub assembly so we have a uh, specified uh, planning time horizon that is uh, uh, in terms of weeks or months so when to be uh, these uh, raw materials and other components to be uh, purchased and uh, when uh, the finished products to be supplied to the end users so uh, material requirement planning so whether it is with respect to the raw material or the finished good so <laughs> the planning will be done Uh, for uh, a fixed time uh, over a uh, period of uh, uh, <coughs> uh, a fixed time horizon so it improves the customer service so that uh, uh, we can uh, meet the promised uh, delivery schedules that is uh, uh, whatever uh, time schedule for the delivery to the end customer is planned accordingly so we can uh, supply the finished goods and uh, shortening the delivery lead time so that uh, without uh, keeping the uh, customers of, uh, waiting for longer time so this lead time so that is the waiting time will be reduced if we have proper uh, material requirement plan so it reduces inventory cost so uh, by reducing the inventory level so Uh, uh if we have unnecessary storage of uh, raw materials or finished goods so that will uh, uh, increase the inventory cost associated with them so if we have proper material requirement planning so that will reduce the inventory cost so it uh, improves the efficiency uh, operating efficiency of the plant so that uh, uh, we are effectively utilizing the 
uh, resources uh, productively. Uh, so the operating uh, efficiency of the plant will also be improved. So without uh, keeping uh, idle, uh, the labor uh, higher and uh, the machines purchased. MRP inputs. So uh, bill of materials, master production schedule and inventory record file. So these will be considered as the inputs uh, of MRP. So a bill of materials is listing all the raw materials, component parts, sub-assemblies required so that uh, we are producing one unit of the finished product. Then master production schedule. So this we have already studied uh, under the uh, uh, module 4, so that is covering aggregate planning and uh, master production schedule which is the principal input to the MRP system. So that this master production schedule will uh, shape the entire production plan and uh, uh, convert it into the specific requirements. So what is the uh, labor required, so how many raw materials and other spare parts are uh, needed and the equipments which are uh, helping uh, in converting the raw material to the finished product. So this master production schedule uh, will uh, schedule the entire uh, uh, production with respect to the weekly plan or with respect to the monthly plan. So then inventory record file. So uh, this uh, is providing uh, uh, an accounts of how much uh, inventory is readily available in hand and uh, uh, how much uh, purchase order right, is uh, required for procuring the raw materials. So uh, the materials available in hand will be subtracted uh, from uh, uh, the material which is uh, going for the purchase order so that uh, the net uh, uh, material requirement uh, will be uh, sent for the purchase order. So material uh, requirement uh, planning output. So from these uh, inputs that is build of materials, master production schedule and inventory records file taken as the input. So once uh, these things are processed, so uh, we are having the outputs as uh, purchase orders, work orders and the uh, rescheduled notices. The primary uh, reports and secondary reports generated from uh, MRP are uh, planned order schedule so that is uh, outlining the quantity and timing of uh, the future material orders that is uh, how many quantity of uh, material and uh, when it is to be ordered so that is uh, uh, we are scheduling uh, our uh, orders well in advance then order releases once the planned orders are ready so it is sent for uh, signature so that is uh, the authorized orders to be made so that uh, uh, once the signature is taken from the authority so the order will be released uh, to the vendors then changes in the, the planned orders so that is including the, any cancellation of orders or if we revise the quantity of the material to be purchased or uh, the time frame in which uh, the materials are purchased then the secondary reports consist of performance control reports where uh, we are having uh, control on the actual performance from the vendors uh, we are dealing with so that uh, we are tracking the problems like uh, any uh, delivery dates uh, missed or stockouts happen. So then planning reports. So these are used in uh, forecasting uh, or uh, expecting the future inventory requirements. Then exception reports. So it is calling the attention of the managers uh, uh, to the major problems like uh, uh, late orders. Thank you.